there's a lot of mystery behind the st wind vane steering gear and how it works and how can it work so well and is there a lot to learn? Not really, it's actually quite simple. You have to get your sails balanced as well as possible because if you've got too much main up then your boat will try, when gusts come your boat will try to go up into the wind. When you've got too much jib up, just the opposite. So you want to balance your sails as much as possible. So the monitor will teach you to become a really good sailor in that respect. You're going to want the wind vane, which is the blade that sticks up in the air, pointed into the wind. So right now we're sailing at a close hauled course. So our wind is coming off our port bow right there. So if this is our boat, the wind is coming like this. The wind vane points right into the wind. Quick lesson in points of sail. That would be a close haul. If the wind is coming across the beam of your boat or the side of your boat, you're going to want your wind vane pointed perpendicular to the boat like that beam reach. If the wind is coming off the port quarter, you want to run. So you want the wind vane pointed into the wind, which would be back that way. Run or broad reach. That's the first thing you have to do is get your wind vane set into the wind. And there's a little control line that you can do that from the cockpit. Or if you wanted, you could walk back there and turn the wind vane itself. But once you've set up your control line, it's just a line on the drum, you can use that. Then once it's into the wind, like this, when it's, when it's balanced, when you're sailing on course and it's pointed directly into the wind, then it's gonna stand perfectly upright like this. But if the boat were to start to turn, maybe a wave pushes it off course, or maybe your sails aren't quite as balanced as you thought they were, or something, boats get off course every now and then, then there's gonna be more wind on one side of the wind vane and it's gonna lean over like that. Once that happens, a whole bunch of things that you don't need to understand completely happens below the wind vane. The, it transfers that wind energy down into a paddle called the servo pendulum paddle, which is in the water. It's a big weighted paddle that goes into the water. And then, then it has lines on it and more cogs and wheels that then transfers all that energy to your wheel, which will turn you back on course. And then you get back on course and it stands back up. So if you looked back at the monitor, it's constantly going like this. It's constantly making those fine adjustments. You watch the wheel and it's making these little adjustments to keep you on course. So let's go take a look. So as you can see, when the wind paddle gets pushed over by the wind, it transfers that energy through those gears there, which then swings that servo pendulum paddle over to one side. And that in turn pulls on that line. And that line in turn pulls on our wheel to turn the wheel which turns our rudder, and that's what turns the boat.